Good morning, you guys. It's another vlog. We are in the new house. It's around almost eight o'clock and boys are eating breakfast and I am just going to try and make some coffee. We have our espresso machine set up. And so the only thing that we forgot was um, espresso beans and our scale. So I'm going to try and figure out how much I would need to use, um, but we just picked this coffee bean up from Aldi yesterday. Um, so we do still need to go out and get some things when Taylor gets home um, and probably pick up a scale because really need that. So I'm gonna work on making my coffee. I've already had breakfast. I had those egg bites that I love, super easy. And I got up around six this morning. Taylor left around that time. That's when I got up and I read my book, read my Bible, ate my breakfast, and then Ivy got up around maybe seven. And so her and I have just been hanging out and the boys just got up, so they're eating breakfast. And it is raining and thundering outside. I was hoping we could go outside this morning, but it's not gonna happen because it is, it is pouring. So make myself, <coughs> excuse me, make myself a cup of coffee and then we're gonna uh, probably go play in the living room for a little bit and maybe read the kids some books. Um, but I'm almost done with this book. I have just a couple chapters left. Really been enjoying it. And the next book that I want to read is this one. It's The Ruthless and Elimination of Hurry. I've heard great things about it. My mom learned that to me. So that's going to be the next book that I start. So I'm going to go ahead and make this coffee and then we're just going to get started with our day. Well, I just finished getting ready for the day. Feels like it took me forever to get ready. Um, but we are getting ready to go run some errands. We're gonna try and find some sheets. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the sheets on this bed, it just, I'm the type, that, especially with like something that's similar to an Airbnb, when you know the sheets have been used by a ton of people. I guess it's like a hotel, but this situation, I'm just like, I would like some fresh new sheets, especially we're gonna be here a month. Um, these, the ones here smell like laundry soap and it's really, really strong, which we use fragrance-free laundry detergent. So Taylor and I both went to bed going, oh my gosh, these sheets are so strong. <laughs> so we're gonna try and find some sheets for us. I'm thinking maybe TJ Maxx, um, cause they have nice cotton sheets, but that are pretty affordable. Um, but I'm in the boys room and I wanted to show you real quick 
um, their clothes situation and how minimal it is. So there's like this little dresser. There's like one of these and there's a dresser in everyone's room. But up here, this drawer is all um, field stuff. And here I just have pull-ups, all their underwear. They each have one set of pajamas. And then down here is Nobles. So, worked out great. Just one door for each. Um, I did just get some shorts for them, so. And then in Ivy's room, hopefully this isn't too loud with the white noise machine. Um, I just did the top door for her. So she's got diapers and all her clothes, so. Worked out perfectly. It's pretty minimal, and then we just have her set up right over here. Well, um, we did not score any sheets at, we ended up going to Marshall's because that was close by. Couldn't find any sheets and if there, we did see some, they were like $60 for like a package of king sheets and I'm like, I'm not spending 60 bucks, I'd rather really just deal with the ones that we have. So um, we did pick up dinner, we were just doing some tacos. We did let the kids pick out a, a toy at Marshall's. <laughs> just to add <laughs> to the magnet tiles, because we only brought magnet tiles, because um, we didn't bring all the toys, so. We did let them each pick out a toy, do something fun, and then I did run into Goodwill, and I picked up some books for the kids, because we read through all the books that I brought, and then I read a couple several times over, and I thought, okay, we're gonna need more books. <laughs> so, I'm almost gonna get tired, and with it being such a rainy morning, um, we didn't get outside until later, and so we just read a lot of books. And the TV did not get turned on today, because like I said, I would like to try and do more of a screen-free summer right now. So, did a lot of reading. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did find some cute little storybooks, so I'll have to show you that when we get home. And then we did pick up uh, Dutch Bros coffee. So, it's kind of what we've got going on. Taylor just ran into a grocery store to find batteries for Noble's toy. Yes? Uh, I can't. You have to wait till Daddy gets back. So that's kind of what we got going on right now. Um, we're gonna go home and eat, uh, and then I will show you guys the books that I got. Well, we are back, and we just got done eating dinner. And I wanted to quickly show you the books that I bought at Goodwill. Um, some of them are uh, some vintage ones that I thought would be cool to add to our collection at home. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to go book crazy while we're here because we gotta travel back with these, but. Um, a lot of these will be fun to read to the kids. This one I thought was really cute. It's a board book. Super cute illustrations. And then I remember reading these as a little girl and enjoying them. So um, it's really hard to find good historical fiction for girls. So that's a good one to add. This one was a vintage book that I thought was really cool. Um, has illustrations all throughout so and then this one Pilgrim's Progress devotional I thought was cool and then these are for the kids so Paddington Charlie Biscuit and then this is always a good classic and then this Curious George five minute stories we love Curious George books and I like the ones that have them all combined. And so I saw a bunch in here we didn't have. So that's what we got. So I think I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.